Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, I guess we're at the point where we have to show how to get a free mailbox for your lair in this universe online. Uh, also, someone wanted to see the Johnny Quick uh, style with the Jay Garrick helmet. I guess they're trying to recreate a Jay Garrick uh, type character. So I thought, uh, why not show it here? So basically you can see with the Jay Garrick helmet and John the Johnny Quick style, you can recreate a nice looking uh, version of our friend Jay Garrick. Obviously here I'm using the, the boost of speed, which sadly are a rare item from the vault. So if you were not lucky enough to get the boots, uh, sadly you won't be able to get them. I would settle with the flash boots then. But enough uh, stalling, let's take a look at how to get the mailbox. Uh, basically, the short answer is by getting the Phobios collection. Uh, you can get the Phobios collection either from the broker, by buying them, buying them from the broker, or by farming on Arkham Island. So let's take a look at the 10 collections you need. The ornith Ornithophobia, Coolrophobia, so I guess it's going to be a lot of phobia, Technophobia, Frigophobia, Brontophobia, Aerophobia, Hemophobia, Xanthophobia, Triskaidekaphobia, no idea what that could be, and uh, Chiroptophobia. So basically you have to gather those 10 collections in order to be able to get a free mailbox for your lair. So you could either purchase those collections from the broker or you could farm and farm and farm until you get all 10 collections. I'm going to show you that, show you that in just a minute. So, for those who don't want to see me farm, I guess this is the end of the video for you guys. For the rest of you, let's go farm for collections. So to get those collections, you have to go to Arkham Island. And this is where we're going to be able to get the collections for the free mailbox. You don't have to, but it's a pretty big area. So I would strongly suggest, at least uh, the first few times, to use a radar enhancer. And even using a radar enhancer, you're going to, you're going to see it could happen that we farm and farm and farm and only get a few a few collections. Uh, sadly, it's a pretty big area and collections don't seem to spawn all that quickly on the island. So let's give it let's give it a try. So once you activate your radar, you can see to the to the right uh, top corner of the minimap, you can see that little magnifying glass. That means oh, we got a nice uh, electric heal aura. So once you get the little magnifying glass, it tells you that the uh, the radar is activated. And then you just need to go around, look for question marks on the minimap, and gather those collections. Uh, sadly, as I mentioned before, uh, sometimes the collections don't spawn very, very, very much or very quickly. And uh, Arkham Island is a pretty big area, and uh, sadly, as you can see, we did not get one of the phobias. Uh, that's also another nice thing, or... I guess it depends on how you want to see it. Basically, you can multitask, you can gather multiple collections on the island. There's a couple of collections that you could uh, get from uh, Arkham Island. Uh, sorry for the jump cut, I have a bit of a sore throat, so... And I have a bit of sniffles, so if I sniff uh, too, lo too loudly or if I, I, I cough a little bit, I, I, I cut it out. Usually around the, uh, the refinery, there is a few that spawns. But I guess not today. Oh, here's one. Also, the collection do make some sort of sound. So you can look not just for the visual clue of the uh, the question mark on the minimap, but also you can listen for those collections. And sometimes you even before you actually see them, you can hear some of them. So usually it gives you a clue or a hint that oh, there's a collection nearby. Uh, let's be careful and look for it. So here we got uh, the Brontophobia. So sadly, there's no miracle. Either you purchase the collections from the broker, or you farm and farm and farm until you can get all the collections. I wish I could I could give you a magical formula. You click uh, the triangle button three times, and you get all the collections. Uh, it doesn't work like that. You sadly have to get them the hard way. And e the hard way is either f uh, farming for the collections yourself, or farming for cash in order to be able to buy the collections from the broker. 
Uh, most of the collections don't seem to be that expensive for, for pretty much all the amenities. Although there are a few that sometimes, uh, I've seen a few go as high as uh, 10 millions. Not sure if people actually purchase it at that price though, like uh, basically people can ask uh, 100 million for a collection, but if no one purchases it, it doesn't really matter. So when I see those collections for like 10 millions, I have to wonder, is there anyone who actually buy them? At that price, I mean. I would be tempted to uh, to sell them for 2 or 3 millions, the, the rare ones. But uh, maybe people actually buy it for 10 millions and I, I just uh, didn't notice yet. I guess next time I get one of the rare ones, I will have to try it out. So as you see, Arkham Island, pretty big area to cover. Last time uh, I farmed here, we got um, a handful of collections. For, for, from all the different types of collections. So getting all 10 collections uh, just from uh, farming Arkham Island, uh, that could be uh, that could be tricky. I guess it'll take uh, a little luck and a lot of patience, or maybe the opposite. A lot of luck and a little patience, eh, that could do too, I suppose. Now, ideally, you're going to try to avoid uh, fighting enemies. Your radar and answer last uh, for 15 minutes. So you don't really want to waste uh, any of that uh, 15 minutes fighting enemies. So you're going to try to stay away from enemies uh, And of course, there's the spawn point of some evil villains right over there. If you're a hero player, you don't want to go there. Oh. Ah, sadly again, not a phobia. One of the options, obviously you have to be legendary in order to be able to do that, is whatever collections you get that you already have, like uh, the doubles you get, well obviously you can sell those on a broker and hope to be able to make enough cash to be able to purchase those you did not get. Uh, sadly, if you're, if you're missing some of the, uh, the rare collections, you may have to sell quite a lot of collections to be able to gather the millions you need to buy the rare collection. Uh, sadly, uh, Sadly, it's completely random, the collections you get, so the odds of getting uh, the one collection you need sometimes are very slim. So sometimes you have to, to get it the hard way. You have to either farm and farm and farm for cash until you can actually have the cash to purchase it from the broker. Or if uh, using the broker is not an, an option, if you're a premium player or a, a free-to-play player, uh, sadly, you have no choice. You have to farm and farm and farm until you get lucky enough to be able to get the collection you need. Uh, sometimes you could have to farm for two or three days. Sometimes you could have to farm for a week. Uh, there's a, there's a certain collections I was farming at some point. Uh, at some point I was farming for the Mr. Miracle collections. Uh, once I saw the Mr. Miracle cape, holy crap, I, I fell in love with that. And I, I wanted it on like half a dozen of my characters. So I started farming and farming and farming. And uh, if I was lucky, after two, three days, I would get uh, the collection I needed, the, the rare collection I needed to be able to get the cape. Uh, sadly, there's a few times where I had to farm for like a week before I got the, the rare collections. So when I was really lucky, I, could, I would get the collection two or three times in one week. Uh, was not, when I was not so lucky, I would have to farm for a whole week, sometimes even uh, more, before I finally got the rare collection. 
it's sad, but uh, sadly it's completely random. So the odds of, and there's nothing really that you can do to increase the odds of getting the collections you need. It's not like in there are certain games like in, uh, in Diablo, you can uh, you can have certain items that will uh, help you, that will increase your chances to be able to get uh, some rare items. Uh, here, sadly, we don't really have uh, such uh, such an option. The only real option we have to be able to get the rare collections that we we were not able to to farm, uh, we have we have to buy them from the broker, assuming that people are selling them. And assuming that uh, we can gather all the cash needed to purchase those uh, usually expensive collections. As you can see, I have a couple of uh, bases on uh, Arkham Island. It was a little pricey to get those, but I kind of like to have uh, bases all over the place. At some point, I was use them. I would use them uh, when. Uh, at some point, when we did not have uh, teleporters, I would have. I would have like two bases in uh, Gotham and two bases in Metropolis. So I would. I would be able to just using my bases have access to uh, to, to both areas. But then they've added uh, teleporters, making that whole bit uh, uh, sadly redundant or useless. Now we can pretty much teleport anywhere we like, but here let's assume I could not use my my warp for reasons. Then I have a whole bunch of bases that I could use to be able to gain access to my teleporter. Well, also I kind of try to role play at least a little bit. So usually I'll try to. Uh, to find places that are sort of appropriate for my character. Like if I have, a, let's say, a Joker character, nah, then I could decide to have his base on Arkham Island. Although for a Joker character, I may, I may decide to go for the Amusement Mile instead. I, I believe that's what I did, actually. But on, on the island here, I think I have my uh, Sinister Core uh, Batman character that has his base here. And others I failed to, to recall. I'm not sure if it's an evil villain also farming for collections or if he's just uh, doing his uh, evil villain missions. There's a whole bunch of, uh, of missions you get on the island uh, if you're playing a villain character, but there's a bunch of uh, tier 4 missions. And as uh, hero players, there are a few bounties. Uh, there's the O-Bot and the S-Bot, I always forget the, the official uh, appellations. Like I basically at some point in time, uh, the O Long Siege robot was called. Uh, I think it was called the O Bot on uh, PS4, and it was called the S Bot on PC for some reason. Sometimes people will develop, uh, players will develop, um, let's say, an alternate language to describe things, and uh, depending on which server you you are, uh, sometimes those languages evolve uh, differently. Which is why some people know the O Long Siege robot as the O Bots. Some players know them as the S-Bots. It happens. I'm sure I said so in the past, but in case this is your first uh, multiverse video, I love I love flying around in this universe online. Usually I fly a little bit closer to my character, but some players, uh, some people, I find that a bit uh, find that it's too close. So I try to pull back a bit sometimes. Uh, but usually I like to be a little closer to my character as I fly around.
I didn't pay attention to which collections we got so far. I will take a look in just a bit. Oh, Aerophobia. So another one uh, that you would need. Uh, let's see. This is one of my multiverse base, my Allman base, and my uh, Batman of the Sinister Core bases. So these are the bases I have on the on the on the island. I didn't remember I had the multiverse base. Yeah, even better. I have too many bases, so it's hard to keep track of all of them. Go. Although I seem to recall the, the bases on the island cost... Uh, Sometimes they're expensive in terms of cash, uh, of cash, but like there's like I don't know, twenty three thousand or something like that, which is a uh, if you're a legendary player, that's nothing. But usually, what's a bit uh, pricier is uh, when the, the the bases require a twenty five or fifty in marks of victory. I may be exaggerating a bit with 50, but usually sometimes there's some bases that will require like uh, twenty three thousand dollars in this universe cash. And uh, like uh, 25 uh, marks of victory or something like that. So early on in the game, if you have like a low level, uh, low level four uh, character, having a base on uh, Arkham Island or in or on or on the amusement mile may not be an option. But uh, after a while, once you you have enough uh, marks of victory and enough cash to be able to to relocate your base, uh, then you could decide to have a. Uh, one of the more exotic uh, base locations. Uh, speeding of the uh, the M bot. So this is the the M bot, the Moro bot. Uh, the Olong Seed robot, I think, is in the Metropolis. So on Arkham Island, it's the M bot. But if you go in uh, Metropolis. Then it'll be the O bot or the S bot, depending on uh, who you ask. Oh, our radar is uh, finished. Well, let's just do a final pass. I thought I heard something here. So basically, even if your radar is not working, if you listen, if you pay attention and listen, you should be able to hear the collections. Sadly, I'm in the process of uh, redecorating my bases because we got the brand new uh, Brainiac base. So uh, some of my bases are a little empty right now. So let's take a look at the collections we got. So you can see we got the Bron Brontophobia. Pretty sure we got another one. And we got the Aerophobia. Sadly, the other ones, we got some uh, Arkham's uh, personal collection. We got some uh, Asylum Contraband. And we got uh, some deaths of the asylum collections. So we got a few collections, but sadly none of uh, not many that we actually need. We only got two phobias. So let's take a quick look at how much those two are worth on the broker, just to get just to have an idea. So we can see our aerophobia is worth about uh, 45,000 on the broker. And the brontophobia is worth uh, a little less than uh, 200,000 on the broker. So again, there's 10 of those collections. Some are not worth all that much as you, as you saw, but uh, there's a few rare ones that could be a little more pricey if you're not so lucky. So that is pretty much how you can get a free mailbox for your lair. Either you have to gather all 10 collections, all 10 Phobios collections. Either you buy them from the broker or you farm and farm and farm until you have all 10 collections. There's no, there's no miracle formula, sadly. If you don't want to farm and you don't want to play the broker game, then you have no choice. You have to purchase the, the mailbox from the marketplace if you want to have a mailbox in your, in your lair.
So that's uh, pretty much it for now, guys. If you are, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering answering your questions. So as always, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.